meet myself. Okay, good morning, everybody. Whoops, wrong button. <coughs> How are we all this morning? Welcome back to four, sorry, three fabulous days online doing live free mini classes for all of you and some fantastic specials uh, on on our website. Hey Louise, what happened to the rest of my flyers here mate? The what? The rest of my printout. Anyway, so welcome, welcome, welcome. We have got heaps for you and today, wasn't there more of those? There was like six of them. Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so we have got lots and lots and lots of things planned for you um, every day on here on my Facebook page. I will be doing live Facebooks. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you roll your eyes at me. Um, we have got lots and lots of live Facebooks. So every day I'll be doing a live Facebook um, first thing in the morning, about nine o'clock-ish Adelaide time, of course, and talking about the daily specials. And I have a different special every day. So tomorrow we've got something really cool for you as well. Um, then we will be doing a 10.30 live Facebook, uh, which will be a mini class. And then of course a 1.30 and a 3.30. So this morning I'm going to create a double, a double page um, scrapbook layout using paper rose papers. But just quickly before I go, uh, before I go on to that, of course we've got heaps and heaps of specials. We've got Art by Marlene single paint tubes for seven dollars fifty, and I'll be using those in other classes today. We have some embellishment bundles for twenty dollars. We have an Art by Marlene Lucky Dip for thirty six dollars and a tag and stencil bundle um, for $18.50. There are special bundles, plus we've got lots of other things that you'll find on nataliemay.com.au. Don't forget to um, check out our clearance section because everything in our clearance section is at least 30% off, and that is a big, big bargain for you guys. Um, and there's you know single one-off products left, paper collections in there, all sorts. Um, the show postage special is that you can order lots of times over the weekend, um, but you only need to pay postage one time of $12.50. So you pay that for your first order and then all other orders will be the, you select no judgment and we will bundle them all together. We also have a daily prize draw, which means if you place an order today, what I'm going to do is pop you in the drawer to win a prize and I'll draw that tomorrow morning. So that's wonderful for you guys. Okay, um, so can everybody see me okay? Yes, wonderful. Um, what I'm gonna do is create a double page layout using the new collection called Eucalyptus Dance from uh, Adelaide Company Paper Rose. These papers are really, really pretty. So I ordered them in and thought, right, what am I gonna do? Uh, and I'll create a lovely double layout. And we have this available online as a $16 kit. Um, there is no written instructions. You are watching them right now. So these are beautiful double-sided papers, really, really nice. The team at Paper Rose have done an amazing job with this. Um, so there's that one which has got a lovely, um, beautiful green on the back. And then we have this one here and some elements on here that you could color. Um, it does come in a six by six shell, but um, I will need to order that in for you. I have not got it in. I only have it in a 12 by 12 kit, uh, a 12 by 12 paper collection at present. Um, but I will have to place another order at some stage and order that in. 
Um, so yes, fussy cutting leaves. Now, Carrie Ann, you did get a mention yesterday because Louise and I were discussing how I probably should have thought about this in advance and sent to you the last piece of paper because the last piece of paper I sat and fussy cut yesterday afternoon, all of these lovely little bits. So um, I have pre-done some of that. All right, so let's get going. So now that I've had a look at the papers that I've got here, I've also got a piece of vellum here floating around. Haven't decided if I'm gonna use that yet. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a think about what sort of page I'm going to create. First thing I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna take my white cardstock here and I'm gonna flip it over and using some washi tape, I'm gonna tape it together. I like to do this when I'm doing layouts so that it flows nicely across the page. Uh, and conveniently guys, washi tape is 15% off today. And this is this beautiful Earth Greetings washi tape, which is my favorite one. I know it only goes on the back, but it's really pretty. So here we go. We've got our pages stuck together there. Now, let me put my bin on the floor. Sorry, first project for the day, so I'm feeling a little bit rusty. Just checking my setup here. I've got my paper trimmer. All right, let's have a look. Um, I might start with... I want to use that side. And I do love these greens. those bits out of the way. So I haven't really thought much about what I'm going to do here. So my thought process is very much live here on camera and um, I, I'm just going to put that one aside. Oh, let's have a little think. All right. Maybe I'll cut that there. And that there. What's on the other side? Do I, do I want Louise to take over? <laughs> yeah, Louise, I'm feeling a little rusty this morning. Do you think perhaps you could just step in? And who would like to see the non-crafter create a double scrapbook layout? It's a hard no from just about everybody. Actually, no, people would probably love to see that. Who am I kidding? All right, cut the barcode off first on this one. So I'm gonna build across my page. Apparently a few people want to see that, Louise. Okay, so what I want to do, I like this here, so I'm going to cut that off so that I don't inadvertently cut it, and I'm just going to go like that. So I'm going to pop that piece aside. I'm going to take that one and pop that piece aside. What I do like is this really lovely blue here. So I do love that all of these papers are um, around, like they're all colour coordinated. So all the colours are going to work beautifully together. And I'm just going to cut that piece inside, inside. Cut that piece in half and then I might cut it back to be... Do I want to go edge to edge? Do I want to have a little border? All right, I might cut off a little bit off the top and the bottom so that I have got, make it about 11 and a half. So those two pieces are going to go on each end and they are going to be 11 and a half. So the thinking here is it's going to go there and there, I'm gonna build my page going from the outside in. All right, so that piece is done. Next thing I wanna do is find something else. I might pop that one there. What's on that side? That green's nice. Let's have a think, I might pop that one there. 
Might cut that there, take that piece over to there, then put a piece in the middle. Okay. So this one here, I want to cut off that piece. Actually, they're both the same, so I don't think it'll make much difference. Yep, the brain is definitely not quite kicking in. Seven inches. <laughs> And then I'm going to, so seven inches, I'm going to pop that one there, that one there. I may flip them yet because the paper on that side is really nice as well. So that can go there and that can go maybe there. I might trim that back to that piece. We'll see how we go. And now I want to put a piece through the middle here. Um, I find that this one's a little bit too dark, so can I use that side? Yes, I can. That's nice. There's a lot going on there, though. That's nicer. I might layer that one on top. I find that this one's going to be a little bit too stark white, so I'm just going to take that and that all right okay have a plan all right now i'm going to cut a piece to go into here and i'm going to use this one we're not going to see much of it so i'm not too phased that it's a little bit busy uh so let's go with Hello, Miss Jessica. Probably want to go, let's have a look at the size of this. Actually, the full 12 inches isn't bad. It's not too bad at all. But I might just take it back to be about 11. look at how it is planning out so I'm laying down the base of my page all right I'm laying down it's upside down um, I'm laying down the base of my page and I want to do something like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper through the middle here which is going to be this one here and this is going to be the base for where I put my photos okay um, so what I'm going to do, do I want that to be a solid? Let's have a look at that side. Oh, I don't mind that. Actually, I think I like that better. So what I might do here, so this one, coming back to this one. So this is currently sitting at 5 by 12. I'm going to cut that back to be 2 inches so that I've got this piece here showing here but I do love this so I'm going to keep that showing I'm going to also take let's see how I'm going for sizing here I've got that one that one that one and that one and I can take just a little bit off of this one here so this one is currently sitting at seven inches. What I want to do is I'm just going to cut an inch, maybe half an inch off of that side so that I can balance out. I'm going to take a half an inch off of this side here so that I can balance out my green and just add a little tiny bit of this green here. But we're going to use that side. All right. Now, am I going to go top to bottom? Am I going to go edge to edge? Well, that's an easy thing. I've already started by making this one here, 11 and a quarter. So I need to take each of my papers back to 11 and, is that 11 and a half? It's 11 and a half. So I'm going to take a half an inch off the top of this one.
take a half an inch off of this one. Yes, I could have done that first, but I find it easier to lay them all out, work out what I want to do. And I might keep this one here at full size for the time being. cut off the bottom because I don't want to take any of this image off the top here. And I'm going to be good to go. So I'm going to start sticking things down. So I'm just using some 12 mil double sided tape and just um, adding just a single strip to get everything into position. Now, I don't tape edge to edge, as most of you know. I find it uh, a little bit too restricting. I would rather add a, um, a, a piece of tape like this and then go back and add more later um, because then it gives me the ability to be able to, and I totally just put that on crooked. It gives me the ability to be able to move it around like that. I just did then get it into position or I can tuck something in underneath it and I'm going to do this piece so 12 mil double sided express tape is my go to double sided tape um, I only use express it as my double sided tape because it's an Australian brand um, as I have mentioned in like a million and one Facebooks previously um, leather handbag versus vinyl handbag. I'm creating a scrapbook layout here that I want to last the test of time. I actually want this to last a little bit longer than um, than me. So, oh, that's too short, but okay. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm using a, a good quality adhesive. Right, so this is what I'm thinking. There's my double layout, something that looks like that. I think the green next to bit needs to be next to this one, just so that it breaks it up a bit. Flip it, tape it. Let's pretend that they're the same length. That can slide in under there. So for those of you just tuning in, this uh, scrapbook layout is using the paper rose papers that were recently released and it is a $16 kit uh, that will be available online, that, I'm, uh, that is apparently available online at the moment and you can, you're watching the instructions, there's no written instructions but I'll put a photograph in the kit of what your finished project looks like for you to be able to refer back to. Now this one here is about two fat fingers so I want to do about the same on this side. Yeah my measurements were way off there. Yeah you know close enough is good enough it's homemade right. Uh, so that'll go there, that'll go there. Oh shh I did it upside down. Why didn't someone tell me? Carrie Ann, come on, you're dropping the ball, babe. There 
there we go. All right. So then this one here, I'm going to put this one edge to edge. So that's going to go right to the top, right to the bottom. And then that one is just going to slide in under there with just a little freckle showing in a minute. So then that is the base of my page. And the next bit comes down to adding the other two papers that I've got, the photos and the embellishments. Now I'm just going to put a small bit of tape in here just because the tape is about the same width. So I'm just wanting to make sure I get that into position and I can add some more tape onto that later. the base of our scrapbook layout, our double page. So the next thing I want to do is I've got these two pieces here and what I'm thinking is I might offset them a little but I've also got these two pieces. Do I want to incorporate those anywhere or do I want to save them for something else? Oh, okay. okay. So I'm just going to cut the barcode off of this guy. Right. Um, now, I don't have any photographs here, but what I do have is some, I've just cut some random photo mats. So you really can't create a scrapbook layout unless you've got some sort of Photos. So what I want to do is make sure that I've at least got something that resembles a photograph. Um, so this, I want to map this one onto here. I want the green to be a bit bigger. So I'm just going to grab a pencil. And I want to cut this one at about this mark. So I'm just eyeballing how much room I've got top and bottom. So this green piece here, the measurement is going to be nine and a half. And it's going to sit here. And with this one here, Let's also make that nine and a half. Like, let's make them the same size. Oh, what would be a live Facebook without Natalie sneezing? <laughs> oh, no, I'm talking myself out of it. Not sneezing, not sneezing today, I'm not sneezing. Oh, thanks for the tissues. All right, so that one can go there like so. So they're gonna offset so that they go into that side a little. I do like that bit of blue to help break that up. So this is on the barcode strip of that eucalyptus dance piece. So let's also make that nine and a half. Definitely. Mm. Stick it down before I change my mind. And 
And I'm just using my Ulfa craft knife to lift my tape and um, I, I tear it to the edge of the, the blade. And push that up to there. So now that's got that, that edge on the side. Right, there we go. Like that. Like that. So we've got that little touch of green coming in through there and through there. And let's have a look at this guy here. Can I use this? Absolutely. That's gonna go there. Am I gonna join them up? Or am I gonna go back to back? All right, how about I stick down these two elements first and I'm gonna come back to those pieces. Susan, Jeanette, Emma, Pina, everybody's here. All right, good, good, good. So photos, before I have a look at what I'm gonna do with these other two pieces here, I want to have a look at the photos I've got. So my fantastic family photos here. Um, the middle of my page, I need to make a mark on where that is, just so that I remember. And I could cut my page in half, but for the time being, just so that my photos don't overlap. Um, so I've just done a, a little pencil mark there where I'm going to be cutting. Uh, and I'll make sure that all of these elements are stuck down before I cut. But like I said, I do like to work all the way across the page. Um, photos. So I want to have a couple of photos here and a couple of photos here. Um, what have we got? Something there. Something there. And I know that that's where the middle of my page is, got, is going to be, so I can go there and there. So I can manage to get five photos on this page. Uh, do I want to use any vellum? Let's have a look. Vellum tones things back. It can be really interesting to put on a page. So sometimes if, if things are a little bit too strong or too bold, you can add a piece of vellum in there. Um, I actually don't think it needs it. I quite like it without any vellum, so I'm not going to use that. Take that out of the equation. And I'm going to cut some card to sit underneath these so that I can... Uh, so that I can, kind of like using foam tape, I guess. So, um, good morning, Jean. So I'm just using this, like I said, instead of foam tape, just because it's gonna give me a nice solid base for my photos. So while I'm matting these, I'm just gonna go over what's happening this weekend, for those of you who have just tuned in. So on nationallymade.com.au, you will find lots of fantastic specials over the weekend. I'm going to have a new special tomorrow, but today's special is 15% off of alcohol inks, 15% off of everything Christmas based, and 15% off of washi tape and all paper collections. So some of the paper collections that we have available online are, we have got Graphic 45, we have got Cartabella, Photoplay, we have got Minte, AB Studios, 
Studio 73, which is an Australian company. We have got Coco Vanilla. We have got paper rose papers like this one. Um, we have got six by six pads, eight by eight pads, six by four pads. We've got all sorts of different papers available. So you are going to, for today only, it's not gonna be on special tomorrow. So for Friday only, 15% off paper collections. Um, there is so much paper. Stamperia is also 15% off at a fantastic price. The new papers that came in a couple of days ago, so Vicky Booten papers, American Crafts, we've got Maggie Holmes, we have got oh, a ton, a ton of papers. So um, they are all going to be 15% off. So everything Christmas related is also discounted. So that means uh, anything Christmas related could be stickers, stamps, stencils, embellishments, Tim Holtz products that are Christmas based, all and create stamps that only came in at the beginning of the week. Anything like that's got Christmas um, written on it is gonna be discounted. We have got um, lots and lots of Christmas dyes. Um, and of course, a dye is fantastic because it is a product that you can use over and over and over again. Um, die cutting is just super versatile, just like stamps. So Hero Art stamps, um, some spell binders maybe. Uh, so there's a, a huge range. Art by Marlene Christmas, which arrived this week finally. That is also on special. All right, there we go, there we go. So they're ready to stick on. Right, let's have a look and see if I want to add these little elements. I think I do, but I think I need to lift them a bit. So I'm going to tape them together with some washi tape. Um, so alcohol inks I mentioned are also discounted. I'm going to do a project with alcohol inks today. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might do something super bright, make a bit of a tag. I don't wanna make any Christmas projects this show. Actually, I am gonna use that vellum. I'm gonna put this on that vellum because, and I'm gonna put a bit of card behind it to lift it up, because what I wanna do is, this is two busy prints on top of each other, so I need to separate those busy prints. Um, there's also heaps and heaps of kits available uh, as um, on, on the website. So you can find those under kits. There's kits by Natalie May um, as well. So you will find those all on the website. So there's card kits, card making kits. And there is... Um, scrapbook layout kits. Um, we just sold the last of the mini album kit. So, all right, so let me show you the trick on making this work. Now you can see that this piece of vellum is not the right size. I don't have any 12 by 12 vellum handy. And in your kit, you will receive a piece of A4 vellum. Now you can use vellum, you can use tracing paper, you can use whatever suits you. But what I want to do is I want to create some little strips. So I'm gonna get my trimmer out again and just go cut, cut, cut. Just cutting strips, not measuring them. Just eyeballing them. Because this is a little cool technique that I used to do ages ago that I'd forgotten about. For matting my photos and making them look really cool. And I've just realised I've left the barcode strip on it, so I'm just going to do that. Do that. Right, that'll do. Take my paper off, and I'm going to take these strips here and add thin pieces of vellum underneath this edge, and I'm going to layer them up. 
So you may need to add some more tape. So you can see they kind of go on like that. Now make sure you use double sided tape for this and not glue because glue is going to make the vellum a buckle because it is, I don't know why actually, can't even sugarcoat it. Then I'm going to layer that one up. And then you start to create this really cool little look underneath, alright. So you can go all the way around if you want to. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna do the top and the bottom edge. But you do need to add a new piece of tape each time. And you can make them all different lengths. Love that. And so that's the bottom or the top, doesn't really matter. Do the same thing again. So this is the kit uh, called Eucalyptus Dreams that you will find online on nataliemay.com. What? Eucalyptus Dance. Why do I keep saying dreams? Maybe I need, I need to change the name. Because the paper collection is called Eucalyptus Dance. I knew that. Dance, 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 dance. All right, and last piece. So you can see what happens here is that you create these really cool. Whoops. Obviously, I thought I could get away with that piece of tape, with the same tape on it. Apparently not. How am I going for time? Oh, look at that. A little bit over half an hour, and I've created a double scrapbook page. Or the base, anyway. Alright. So there it is there. Top. And bottom, I've got a bit of a gap here. I'm not fussed about that. And I've got a bit of a gap here. I'm not fussed about that either. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. My pretend photos. What I do want to do is put some more cardboard here and here because it just hasn't lifted it enough. Or I could use fine tape. In fact, um, actually, while I've got phone tape out, um, a couple of ladies the other day were telling me that they buy their foam tape from a hardware store. Um, just a hot tip, girls. It's not designed, if you buy your foam tape from a hardware store, don't expect it to last. Foam tape from a hardware store is not designed to go on paper and it will come unstuck in a very short amount of time and you'll have to go back and add all of your adhesives back on again. Um, so it is certainly not designed for paper crafting. It is not designed for, uh, it's not acid free, so it is not going to um, last on your projects or make, or, or be good for your papers but in any way. So please don't do that. All right, so there we go. I want to pop that. So you can see how now I've got that piece, foam tape underneath it, and I'm going to pop it. I don't know, here looks good. Now, I'm not fussed about this line through the middle here because when I stick on my photos now, which I can't remember where any of them went, but we'll go with there. there and there and then there and there 
when I add my embellishments and overlap my photos, it really takes the focus away from it. So you really don't see those bits anyway. All right, so don't stress over those extra lines. You could also, um, if you wanted to, if you didn't like it, you could take a barcode strip from one of the other papers and stick that there if you wanted to cover up that seam. I'm not gonna worry about doing that because it doesn't bother me. Oh, come on. Right, that one goes there. So I'll stick my big ones down first and then I position everything else around those. a little. Actually, I'll take it up and cover up that line. There we go. Voila! All right, let's add some embellishments. So that's the base of our page our embellishments. So I've got all of these lovely little bits here that I've cut up, uh, ready to go. I've also pulled out a couple of doilies. I'm not too sure if I want to add doilies. Let's have a look. Um, there's a bigger one here. Let's have a look at this little baby one. Oh, I think I like the little baby one better. So I'm going to pop, I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to slide that up there. And I'm just going to commit to it and stick it down. And I'm going to use a little bit of glue. So I'm using the Art by Marlene Multi Glue. This is a really nice glue. It's got a lot nice fine nozzle. And I'm not going to glue the whole doily. I'm just going to attach it like that. Little down that edge, pop that one over that side for balance. Quick drink break. Where's my middle? Oh, I was watching the wrong line here. I've gone too far. I need to go further that way. Dun Because that there is where I'm going to cut my page. All right, so now I can pop a, pop that glue down there again. Up under there. And we've got all of these gorgeous little bits and pieces that we can stick on to make our embellishments for our page. I'm going to pop those pieces aside. Um, let's make a clean spot up here. And I'm just looking at the way that these clusters are kind of um, holding, how they fall, how they sit, which way they are going. So I want to make sure that I'm framing my pages. Um, that's quite a big cluster up there. I don't want to cover up my doily, but it looks like I'm going to. So I might take that doily a little bit further out like that. 
or a bit further up, which I can do that again in a minute. Do, do, do. Okay, like that. I'm definitely not going to use all of these. There's a lot going on here. That one definitely goes there, so let's commit to that. A little bit of glue on the bottom. Just slide that in. Now I don't want to glue the whole thing down and I don't want to, um, I want it to sit up a little bit higher. So I'm just gonna take my small amount of foam tape and stick that underneath to keep that lift there. Beautiful. And I don't, I want to leave this area here to put a title, I think. So you don't need to, I haven't included a title in the kit because of course there's no point in me giving you a title for something when um, your photograph will be different to my photographs when I put them on. And you want to make sure that, you know, you've got something that suits you rather than, uh, and your photograph rather than, you know, the random title that I choose. Okay, that's going to go there and it's going to overlap onto my photograph. I don't mind. I can cut that off if I need to. If my photograph, if I think that my photo is going to um, be covered up by that bit. And then again, a little piece of foam tape to give it a little lift. And make sure that it's stuck down good. Don't know about that one. I'm going to come back to that. Definitely just going to commit to this one and stick it down because if I keep fluffing around with it, I'll be here all day. And Louise wants to get to the printer, so I don't need her yelling at me. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Then my doily that I peeled off now can get tucked in underneath that big cluster, cover up that edge, and it's not going to get hidden, which is what it was originally going to do. Okay, nearly done. So for those of you just tuning in for the first time, we are creating a scrapbook page here. And this is a kit that will be available online to these currently online to purchase. And you will be able to, you're watching the instructions to it right now. So there's no written instructions with the kit. But there are some, um, a, a photograph for reference and you will be able to come back and watch this video and follow the instructions from here, which is great. Now the other thing I do have is I've got some little chipboard leaves, so I'm going to pop these on as well and these will be included in your kit. And you can choose to paint them in any colour you like. They might be painted, they might be nice painted in gold actually. Um, or sprayed with some kind of gold spray. And then these things just add these, these elements add just a little bit of a lift underneath. A little bit of interest in underneath your cut out elements. So I'm going to pop one there and I'm going to pop one there. And I'm actually, um, because I'm just watching the clock here, I will do this on off camera in a moment and uh, so you're not watching paint dry. Pop that there. And I'll pop that there, just tucking them in. And then I've got one little leafy left, which can go on this side. Just that little bit of, oh, what's she done there sort of element going on. In fact, it'll be good up in here. I'll do that in a moment. Right, 
Let's have a little bit of a think here. How have we got... Um, I've got some scrap effects, craft, birds with words. Let's have a look and see if they're going to work. There's a little bit of an embellishment on my page. These are so cute, look at that. We've got love, we've got sing. And the reason I like the craft is because there's elements of brown all through this and it's gonna work. So. That would look great there. That would look great there. This one would look great up here. And they uh, they bring a title into it. This one could sit up here. <laughs> so if everyone's gonna get a different bird in their kit, so you just need to have a look at which way your bird is sitting. So if he's sitting this way, then he needs to be facing into your kit. If he into your page, if he's uh, if you've got this one, he needs to be facing this way. Okay, so I'm just going to choose this guy here, and he's going to sit here, and I'm going to use some foam tape and add it on so that he's sitting up. And I'm just going to cut my foam tape to suit so that I don't get too much showing. And of course, my little bird needs to be sitting on something. Uh, and he's going to be sitting on here. And he's also going to be sitting on a little branch. So I need to make sure that I've got something for him to be sitting on, whether it be that. Where's the other one? Oh, I stuck it down already. So just commit to it, pop some glue on it, get it done, Natalie. ta -da. All right. Love that. Happy with that. It is a... Oh, stick down. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving where this, this project has ended up. All right. Finished page, and then what I will do is I will pop this into my guillotine and I will cut all the way down the middle here in a minute off camera. And we have got a page. So the other cool thing is, is some of you may be concerned about this line here. Like I said, you could easily take one of your barcode strips. You could take that and pop it across the middle because you've got off cuts floating around. Um, you could take that barcode strip and pop it through the middle if you like it doesn't bother me because once it gets cut up the focus is going to be on my photographs and not that line through the middle okay so uh there we go all right so i'm going to in a moment off camera just color my my little leaves here in gold and tuck them in photograph that and i will put the finished project up here for you to see with a link to the kit that you can purchase online for a mere $16. So there you go guys, thank you for tuning in to watch that layout. Um, I'm thinking that I really quite like it, the colours have worked quite well, it holds a lot of photographs. Um, we are, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it and I've got bits left over. I've got plenty of bits floating around here left over. I've got some other elements here that I haven't included. Um, but I don't need to overdo it either because there's a lot going on. So I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, so just to recap, today is Friday the 26th of November. And as part of the Great International Craft Show, we have got... Christmas things, 15% off. Alcohol inks, 15% off. Washi tape, 16%, 16% off. 15% off. And all paper collections are also 15% off. There is a daily prize draw. So everybody who orders today will go in the prize to, in the prize, in the draw to win a prize, um, which I will draw live on Facebook tomorrow morning. 
Um, there's a massive clearance section for you to check out. We have got the no judgment postage special again, which means that you pay $12.50 for your postage and then any additional orders. So tomorrow's awesome specials, which you know you're gonna want. You don't have to pay postage tomorrow because you've already paid it today. Um, we have got Art by Marlene single paint tubes for $7.50. We've got some fantastic um, tag and bundle, stencil bundles, all sorts of bits and pieces for you. Um, so I hope you're all doing great and you are having a fabulous day. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au and uh, the special will run until I go to bed tonight. Um, looking forward to seeing you back here live at 1.30 Adelaide time, which is two hours, uh, two hours time for the next live Facebook. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids. Thanks for watching.